Hello everyone, in this video we will be studying about the analysis of two involute gears which are in mesh. Here you can see uh, the circles which are representing the uh, pitch circle, base circle and addendum circle of pinion and gears which are in mesh. So in left side you are having a pinion which is the smallest gear with making contact with the uh, biggest one which is known as gear. So the uh, pitch circles of pinion you can see here, this is the pitch circle of pinion making in contact with the pitch circle of the gear and you can see the respective addendum circle of pinion the base circle of pinion here and addendum circle of gear here and addendum base circle of gear here and uh, the common tangent to the base circles of both uh, pinion and gear which is passing through the pitch point is shown here and this common tangent to the base circle will be perpendicular to the radius radial line of the respective base circle so if you are consider, considering the uh, radius of this base circle then this will be perpendicular to this common tangent to the base circle which is passing through pitch point and also you can consider this uh, radial line or the radius of the base circle of gear which is o2 n and radius of base circle of the pinion is o1 m and o1 to p the distance o1 to p i will be calling the distance which is the distance from o1 to p i will be calling as the radius the pitch circle radius of pinion which i will be representing by small letter r and this will be the pitch circle radius of gear which will be represented by capital r and this will be the base circle radius of pinion rb and this uh, length o to n will be the base circle radius of uh, gear which is capital r suffix b and here you have to draw the respective positions of the teeth which are coming on the pinion and gear when they are making contact and here we will be getting the point of beginning of the point of contact and the ending point of contact by looking on to where the addendum circle of both pinion and gears are intersecting the common tangent so if you are observing this is the addendum circle of the uh, gear and it is intersecting this common tangent at this point so this will be the point where the contact between the teeth which are coming on pinion and gear will be starting and so means i'll be drawing this position now and when pinion is rotating this will be moving in clockwise and this will be moving in anti-clockwise so the point of contact will be progressing along this common tangent line and finally contact will end whenever the other addendum circle that is the addendum circle of the pinion is intersecting the common tangent that means this point will be the final point of contact where the gears are gears in mesh are getting separated so with respect to this i will be drawing the uh, relative positions of this gears first i will be drawing the position of the gear uh, gear teeth which are which is coming on the pinion and based on that this is i already told you this is the point where the contact is beginning at that position the teeth which is coming on the uh, pinion can be considered only i'm uh, drawing some portion of the gear which is coming on the surface of pinion that will be coming in this way this will be the gear which is coming on the pinion and at that position i will be drawing the position of the uh, gear tooth which is coming on the surface of gear and that will be in this direction so some portion of the gear teeth i am drawing and this will be the position of the gear teeth when they are making in contact so in this position the contact or meshing between the gears will be occurring so this is the point where the addendum circle is intersecting the common tangent and now our pinion the black teeth will be rotating clockwise so this will be pushing the blue teeth on the gear in the anti-clockwise direction so this will be moving in this direction so the contact point will be progressing along this common tangent line and finally contact will end i already told you the addendum circle of pinion is intersecting at this point so at that point i have to draw the uh, respective positions of the teeth on the pinion and gear so at that position i can consider the this is the point so the position of teeth on the uh, pinion will be in this way so the uh, position of teeth on pinion will be coming like this and the position of teeth on gear will be coming somewhere like this so the pinion is rotating clockwise and it is pushing or making the gear to rotate in the 
and the clockwise direction so this uh, is giving you the relative positions of the gear teeth on pinion so it is moving clockwise uh, pinion is moving clockwise and gear is moving anti-clockwise so this is the point where contact begins and this point will transfer through the uh, common tangent or this is known as the the line of action so and finally the point of contact will be raising here and now i will be naming the different points which are coming on this one the point where contact be begins will be named as say this point is k and this uh, point will be transferred along this common tangent then it will be reaching point p and finally contact will be ending at this point and which i will be calling this point as the point l so point is starting from k and this is uh, moving or progressing towards point p so kp length i will have to evaluate and this is known as the path or the path of approach where the contact begins and progresses up to the pitch point and the later path of the contact path which will be known as that is the distance measured along the straight line that is the common tangent pl p from the pitch point to the final point where contact ends that is l and that is known as path of recess and if you are looking the distance from k to l it is the points k is the point where contact begins and l is the point where contact ends and this k to l is known as path of contact the total path of contact that were uh, happening between the pinion and gear when they were in mesh so you can consider this path of approach kl is equal to sum of path of approach sorry the path of contact kl is equal to the path of approach kp plus the path of recess kl so here our aim will be to evaluate the value of this kp and pl from this uh, from this diagram so i'll be showing you this now so here i am showing the additional distances and angles which we will be requiring for uh, making the derivations for this length of path of approach and length of path of recess so here the small r suffix a that is ri will be the addendum radius of pinion that is the distance from this center o1 to this point L. So R i will be the addendum radius uh, R uh, a and alpha will be the pressure angle that is between this horizontal line and this radius and that you will be getting actually the pressure angle alpha is the pressure angle and pressure angle alpha is the angle between common tangent to the pitch circles at pitch point and common tangent to the base circles which is passing through the pitch point. So this is actually alpha and if the angle between two lines is alpha, then the angles between the perpendiculars of this respected respective lines will also be alpha. So the perpendicular to this one is this line and perpendicular to a tangent line will be this one. So this angle will be alpha. Similarly, the included angle at the center of gear for this one will also be alpha. So now you are having the uh, angles alpha and you are having this r small r is the the pitch circle radius of pinion and capital r is the pitch circle radius of the gear so with respect to if you are knowing this one you can find the value of rb or you can represent the rb in terms of r since this angle is uh, 90 degree so now you can uh, write the expressions for uh, the o1 m o1 m is equal to r suffix b and which is equal to the pitch circle radius into cos alpha you will be getting so this is equal to r cos alpha and you can from the same triangle you will be getting mp is equal to r sin alpha and similarly on the other side you will be getting o2 n o2 n is equal to capital r into cos alpha and the pn pn you will be getting capital r into sin alpha now here our aim is to obtain the value of path of contact that is you have to obtain the value of kp and if you are looking on this diagram so you this value you have to obtain kp and if you are looking kp can be obtained if you are having the value of kn and the distance uh, pn so kn minus pn will be giving you the value of kp so this can be written as kn minus pn and already you are having the value of pn pn is equal to r sin alpha no, i have already evaluated here pn equal to r sin alpha now you have to obtain the value of kn so if you are observing 
uh, you can see the triangle kn is coming on as this side so now we are having a right angle here and this side is r suffix b that is the base circle radius of gear and this is the addendum circle radius of ra so now we, this is the hypotenuse of this triangle this is the height of this triangle and kn is the base of the triangle so where you can apply the uh, you can apply the Pythagoras uh, theorem. So now you will be getting, so from this equation I will be writing Kn is equal to square root of Ri square minus uh, the Rb square. And already I am having Rb is equal to, this one is equal to actually Rb. So now this Kn will be equal to square root of Ri square minus r square cos square alpha and i am already having pn equal to r sin alpha from this one so now i can write the expression for the path of approach kp and similarly you'll be writing the expression for path of recess also i'll be showing you that so now we'll be getting the path of approach kp equal to square root of r i square minus r square cos square alpha minus this is outside the square root and r sin alpha will be getting so this is the path of approach and similarly, if you are looking for the path of recess, which is PL, that is the distance from pitch point to the point where the contact is ending. So PL you can obtain, this is equal to the distance ML, ML minus MP. So if you are minusing this MP from ML, you will be getting this required distance PL. So now you can find the required corresponding expressions for ML, which you will be getting in this way. And from this triangle, if you are looking, you will be getting. And then that will be finally giving you the expressions for the path of recess PL equal to square root of R I square, which is the addendum radius of pinion. We are using for pinion small letters R and for gears we are using this capital letters. Uh, so this will be R I square minus R square cos square alpha minus R sin alpha will be getting. So now to obtain the uh, total path of contact, which is the sum of path of approach and path of recess, this will be getting added up and this will be the final value of path of contact so this two terms will be giving you the path of contact this is the length of that or the distance uh, where the two gears were in mesh which is measured along the straight line that straight line is along the common tangent to the base circles which is passing through the pitch point that means here we are measuring this distance that is the scale distance we are measuring so in next video we will be discussing about the arc of contact, contact ratio and we will also solve a problem on this one. So thanks for watching.